the right of self-determination is the only right we have because if you're in a system and you decide you want out of it then you have a right to form something new well what do you do when that system becomes tyrannical you know somebody within that system decides they're going to be a moron or cause problems or create disturbances in the international public order and you're sitting here going wait a minute i'm now e pluribus unum with him well that's not going to work out real well for me so either he's got to go or i got to go so the question was asked after i did one radio network with patrick timponi and then i did two interviews with him both of them were two hours long and I remember um, an acquaintance of mine at that time, Todd, he called me. He said, have you been following it with Patrick? I said, no. This is maybe three months later. He said, he's out there thumping the Constitution again. I went, you're surprised? And he said, how does anyone interview you? And then they go right back into thumping that same crap that you just disproved. And I'm like, because it's what they were comfortable with. You know, I came out and gave them something they're not comfortable with and regard, it doesn't matter about the proof. And I'll show you this real quick because in the process of pulling up a bunch of stuff, I saw somebody that I've been following his material for years. When we were living in St. Kitts, I remember it was the first time I ever saw Jordan Maxwell and it wasn't on video or anything. It was just an article that he had written. It was on astrotheology, that all theology is astrotheology. Now, over the years, uh, Maxwell has also spoken about the UCC and the Admiralty and things like that. And he's like a lot of others. They've searched for a remedy, but they can't unwind their own simple concept. And it, it, it amazes me how people can't unwind that because they, they love to talk about the founders of the United States of America and their big great revolution and their battle to come out from under tyranny. And yet they want to now talk about how the United States is a tyranny. But they want to fix that tyranny. They don't want to get out of it and form something new. And it's like, but you talk about the founders with such love that, you know, if you want to get out from under tyranny, you have to do what the founders did. Except when you talk about the U.S. or any other nation state today, you don't equate getting out from under tyranny as doing what they did you equate it to fixing the problem. Well, see, if you look at some of the things that are talked about with the founders of the USA, they kept appealing to the British Constitution and appealing to the king to honor the agreements on the land grants. And and at the end of it, they just said, well, we're just going to have to get out of it. Now, they had a lot of opposition, and they would have never won that war without France. And we won't, I won't go into the history because the, the false history rabbit hole, and I'm coming up with different paradigms and different sayings now, all false history is nothing more than propaganda. That's all it is. It's meant to control people. And all history is pretty much false. Like Napoleon said, history is just a set of lies agreed upon. And people will say, well, yes, and it's written by the victors and all that kind of stuff. So we always get a skewed view of it. And the only thing that fixes that, in my opinion, is self-determination because it's like, you know, I don't even care if the history was true. You guys are putting people in prison that don't deserve to go to prison. I don't like your rules anymore, and I really don't want you using them on me. Oh, and I have an option of doing business with immunity. And that immunity is based on one thing. I've talked about the United States being the first time a nation state formed by declaration that I can find. I mean, most of it was just people moving away from the tyranny, forming up a new state and electing in some sort of new government or a king or maybe they even had a democracy pretty much the indian tribes they kind of had democracies um they would meet in council then they would appoint a chief to carry out the wishes of the council and the council could have been every man in the tribe i mean you know being like a true democracy or truer and it might not have included women i don't know <clears throat> and and that was that way a lot going back in ancient history to even the hebrews so why, like Maxwell and these other guys, don't relate it that way, I've never really been able to figure out.